And so, Jim, uh, that's fairly obvious, I think, but he's, he's starting out here saying this person was disgruntled at the father figure, Sid Dorsey. Right, he's trying to create, not a motive to, yeah. to kill the guy, but the reason he would go along with it. And also to take away from the effect of he's my father figure, um, I'm coming forward because I'm trying to you know, solve his murder, that, that kind of stuff. You know, do you think it's odd that there's not even an allegation here that Dorsey mentioned paying money to these people? Most people don't kill someone as favors. You know, well, I mean, they all were, were going to lose their jobs as deputy sheriffs. Well, I mean, we don't know how much he was paid, and losing your job doesn't seem like a lot. It seems like there had to be something else going on there, either being paid or, uh, you know, yeah. some kind of reward. So you're saying that losing your job is not worth killing the person who's about to fire well, you? Nothing's really worth killing the person <laughs> about to fire you, but usually it's not over a, you know, a, a job in a sheriff's office. There's probably something else there. You know, I can't remember a murder for hire other than this one in which no money was offered and none was paid. The, the motive does seem to be, apparently, they didn't want to lose their jobs. Yeah, they wanted to keep their power, they wanted to keep their positions and keep the whole corrupt system yeah. going. Well, uh, of course, the defense says that that's reason enough to commit the killing and blame the sheriff. What we're going to do is take a break. First, we want to remind you to send us an email and let us know if you think Sidney Dorsey is guilty of murder. Our address is open court at courttv.com. And as we take this break, uh, we're going to go down to the Court TV News Center for uh, a news break uh, from the Court TV News Center right now. Good morning, I'm Jean Casares with the latest from the Court TV News Center. The man suspected of kidnapping North Dakota college student Drew Shadeen is scheduled to appear in a Grand Forks courtroom after being extradited from Minnesota. Alfonso Rodriguez, who spent over 20 years in jail for rape, will be present for a bail hearing. Meanwhile, still no sign of Shadeen as thousands of volunteers continue the search. Police say authorities are interviewing Rodriguez and hope for a break in the case soon. The defense case begins today in the manslaughter trial of South Dakota Congressman Bill Janklow. The prosecution rested yesterday after a witness told the jury that Janklow nearly 